So we've got this bushfire burning over there. So it's smoke from it. That's all bushfire smoke. And then it's created a mushroom cloud. <laughs> That's a big bushfire. Yeah, yikes. So uh, as you can see here, there's been a massive forest fire that's come through and you can see the houses over there that are now just shells left burnt. It's devastating. There was 55 homes burnt down, uh, two people died, another person in hospital, 1,000 firefighters, uh, 178,000 hectares of forest burnt out. Uh, the devastation is, is real. <clears throat> As you can see, um, the bush is pretty burnt out here. The fire burnt through yesterday afternoon, late yesterday afternoon. It was moving at 10 metres per second. Uh, the wind gusts were 50 to uh, 80 kilometers per hour and it was 40 degrees centigrade um, heading in now seven o'clock the next day wednesday and i'm uh, going to be helping them fight these fires so yeah it's it's gonna be interesting uh just in here now uh the fire front where it's burning through uh heading through over towards our wheat now tea tree plantation uh currently driving a, a fire fire cart um, yeah, it's the, wind, the wind's died down thankfully and changed direction, so let's see how the day pans out. We just on fire patrol. Yeah, you'll just have to excuse my dirty windshield. I'm just trying to give you guys a bit of an idea of just how burnt out it is over here. Ah, it's burnt so much. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's actually mind-boggling. And uh, all the wildlife is... <laughs> it's all... You can't see it in the videos, but a lot of kangaroos are just sitting in the middle of the roads. There's emus, there's dingoes. They're hanging around any kind of structure they can. It's not bush because there's nowhere for them to go in the bush. It's... Um, it's, it's pretty devastating. Mm -hmm. 